everyone, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back to more Golden Sun Lost Stage. In the last episode, we did stuff in the Yumpy Desert and we managed to get all the way here to Al Heifer and look, there were puzzle on the floor, but whatever. Ask me anything about armor. You guys got some really weak armor here, you know that? Uh, open helm. Me feel it's coming all right. Okay, I'm back, and for once, our party is fully optimized in terms of gear. Awesome. Calling it a sail newfangled. Sails are like the oldest thing in the in ever. I don't know. But yeah, the mast is busted. <laughs> so it snapped right in two. That's just one budge, no matter how many people we get to help us. We're gonna have to get all this junk off the mast first. If we just get some decent filling, we could have this thing clear in no time. To it than that, though. Still have to do something about that rope over there. Technically, that'll be a piece of cake once we get a boat we can use. Oh, yeah, a piece of cake. Except for that huge rock over there! Oh, yeah, the rock. How are we supposed to get the mast out from under that thing? It's huge! There's no way we're gonna move it by ourselves. Either way, we can't do anything until Zack finishes the canoe. Hmm. Well, we could offer to help, but everybody is kind of in the way right now, so we can't really do anything. Let's talk to them. See my pal in the town and get some supplies, but he came back looking pale. Went straight down and talked to Briggs, and I haven't seen him since. What's your problem? You're new in town, aren't you? Probably curious about this here ship, huh? Actually, yeah. Call us a sailing ship. Wind is the only thing that'll make it move. Isn't that incredible? Not really. You kids today with your been there, done that attitude is a shame. Who calls the chump of the seafaring people because we make sailboats? Sure, maybe we do a little pillaging on the side, but now that half our can build sailboats, brings us pirating days, maybe ending. Paid big money for his ship. It's size now, so don't you go crying about it. Well, all right. It just raised a mast. We gotta head back to Champa. Oh, poor guys. Yeah, pretty nice living space here. And whoa. The mayor of Madra? Here? You're certain? How did we- how did he know we came to Alhafra? He knew we needed a ship and he knew we went east. It seemed pretty easy to me. Arr, well, yeah, when you put it that way, it does make sense. He's looking to find the mayor of Alhafra. He must be hoping the mayor will tell him where we are. Probably tell the Alhafrans were pirates too, huh? Pirates? That seems a little unfair! What do you mean? We are pirates, aren't we? I mean, we've taken all sorts of stuff that didn't belong to us. That's only because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We don't have any choice. Ah. And even then, it's never a lot. What's that? Stuff we take. We never take too much from any one town. Yeah, I guess not. And why do you think that is? Or why? 
Because you can never tell how... Because you never can tell how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? Hey, yeah, which is why we didn't steal anything from Alfafra. Right, that's why we avoid the risky town we'll just take what we need from the others. See, that's why you're a captain, Briggs. You got brains coming out of your ears. <laughs> There's nothing brainy about that. Did you hear that? It sounded like a girl. Who's out there? What do you think you're doing? Don't you know that someone has been falsely imprisoned for your crimes? Er, what's your point? You have to come with us and attest to that man's innocence. And why would I want to do something like that? Oh, oh, I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but you leave us no choice. We'll bring you in against your will if you must, but either way, you're coming with us. Isn't that right, Felix? Nope! After what they've done! Come on, we need to make him fess up! You'll stand a chance. We're hardened criminal types. We eat punks like you for breakfast. Watch yourself, you self-righteous little brats. You're the ones with a lesson to learn. Third boss, Briggs. He is not very tough at all. He has 984 HP. He is weak to every kind of synergy. He has a sea fighter with him. The sea fighter has 197 HP and is likewise weak to everything. Uh, they can both use Echo Cut, which is a non-elemental attack that does 30x more damage than a normal attack. Briggs has three signal whistles on him, which will let him uh, call another Sea Fighter to his side. He Everybody also has one herb, one nut, and one oil drop each on him. <laughs> uh. Gonna stole this bag again, aren't we? Anyway, let's just take these guys out. They are not very strong at all. They just take some while. And whoa! Actually, maybe it is that they're strong, and I'm just really calm because I play Golden Sun a lot. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Will you stop that? Well, okay, that's actually the last of them. <laughs> <coughs> Also, I like how uh, all of the human bosses have their own. I, how the uh, human bosses in this game have their own battle theme, with one exception. An exception will come into play later. Hey. Actually, none of the human bosses have the uh, ordinary boss theme for their theme, and. Whoops, Sheba went down. Okay, I probably ought to heal Sheba, or even Jenna. You know, before she dies. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> he just falls asleep in the middle of a fight, what the heck? What kind of pirate falls asleep in the middle of a fight? This is crazy! There we go. Well, that takes care of that. I don't know that everyone Briggs has been caressing will be quite happy to hear it. <laughs> this should set everyone in injury. They all seem to fear at Pirate Briggs. We lost. 
pirates have on it. Oh, the choir. Wait, I'm gonna make a scene just because they lost. Go on, hand this over to Madre or Al Alhafra or whoever. Good. First off, you can tell the Madrins that the man called Piers is innocent. But fine, so what, I just have to say if Piers isn't one of my men? Yeah, that'll do. That's right, you tell the Madrins that and they can release their prisoner. We secured Briggs' vow, we should take him to the Madrins. Wait! Can't you find it in your hearts to forgive Briggs and his men? Well, yeah. I mean, they only did what they had to to survive. Who are you? My name is Chaucha. I'm Briggs' wife. So you're a pirate too? No, Chaucha hasn't done a thing. Let her be. I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their piracy. And I know their crimes cannot be ignored. If you know all that, then how can you just ask us to just forgive him? The only reason Briggs became a pirate was to help the people of Champa. We Champa are a sea farming folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea. But in recent years, the sea has changed. We can't live the life we once could. Oceans have warmed and the fish have vanished from our waters. The soil in Champa is rocky and barren. No crops can grow there. No crops? They have no grains and no meat? Sounds like life in Champa is hard. It's not hard, it's unbearable! Our children can't eat! Our village is dying! These men promised to return with food enough for all our people, but they found none. So pain points. Thieves. We don't know where Champa is. It sits on the southeast corner of Angara. <coughs> southeast Angara? Isn't that near Xian and Lama Temple? You have a good memory! If you were to head south of the mountains, you'd find it. That's so far away. Well, yeah, you think we could see successful pirates so close to home? If they raided any towns near Champa, it would be obvious to all who the attackers were. No one back home could forgive me if they did. I am my grandmother. But where does that leave us? Are we simply to accept your looting here on Indra? <coughs> I'm shocked, I tell you! SHOCKED! What's so shocking? It looks like they really are pirates, just like you said. Mr. Mayor, I am appalled that you cannot take our word for it. You probably wouldn't have believed if we were from... You probably wouldn't even have believed we were from Madra if the mayor hadn't come. Am I supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? Is this your position, Mayor? How can I be expected to believe a tidal wave could wash Indra into Osenia? Or that a group of men could walk, on foot, from Madra all the way to al -Hafra. Sounds to me like you had forgotten about us altogether. I'm not sure you remember the last time we met, do you? When we met, I was just a child. It must have been more than ten years ago by now. Twenty years. It's been twenty years since I last saw you. Has it really been so long? It's been a long time indeed. I guess I can't blame you for forgetting his face. Don't be silly. I didn't forget his face. His face merely changed. Uh -huh. for <coughs> Forgive my interrupting your interruption, but... <laughs> Graydon, you are awesome. Would I be correct in assuming that I am speaking to the leaders of Madra and Alhafa? You are correct. I am the mayor of Madra. And I, I am... <laughs> I am the mayor of Alhafa. I am Madras town elder. And I am a close personal friend of Shin, whose lover was injured by the Champa. I am the scholar Creighton. He is Felix, the leader of our group. I am Jenna, Felix's sister. I am called Sheba. I come from the town of Lavavera. Now, what Aaron has brought you all here? We came for breaks. The mayor of Madra claims... We followed Briggs here from Madra. Of course, we had good of course, we have good reason to suspect them of being pirates. <clears throat> I was honestly taken aback to hear a businessman being slandered. If they truly are pirates, then why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Because the very funds they used to purchase the ship were pillaged from our homes! The ship was bought with modern gold, but it belongs to the Madrins. 
What do you say? If you give them the ship, will that fix everything? Then where will you go? I won't run and I won't hide. Actually, I don't feel up for much of anything right now. And you probably won't mind being locked up, will you? Briggs. Don't worry, Chacha. I'll be back. Take care of Violia. Strange power surprised me, but even without them, you have overwhelmed us. We'll be taking that boat then. We're taking our ship? You're worse than we ever were! Aren't you at least gonna pay us for the boat? Quiet, all of you. Do as you must, but I have one request. You have to let Chacha and Aeolio stay in the boat until it's repaired. You haven't done a half for any harm, Briggs. At least keep them locked up until the boat is repaired. A prisoner, Pierce. Is he one of your men? I don't know any, Pierce. Sounds to me like you've made a pretty big mistake. See? It's just as I said. Pierce is innocent. You must return to Madra and free him immediately. Me? What? Alone? Only two of us will remain here. He can return to Madra with the others. Understood. We'll return immediately. Can you come with us? Please? Looks like that wraps this whole mess up. Let's return to my mansion for a nice cup of tea. You say your name is Creighton? Thank you very much for the help with Briggs. If you have the time, please come see me at my mansion before you go. It's nothing special, but I would like to thank you for everything you've done. Why do I get the feeling the mayor of Alhafra prefers to deal with my father over me? Thank all of you very much. Due to your efforts, Piers is going to be released. And now this fine ship belongs to Madra. Now this will come to pass for enough for you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have any reward I can offer you here. Oh, pish posh, we don't need any reward, do we, Felix? No. That's as may be, but I still feel quite indebted to you. So, what shall we do? I know. Come to Madra after our boat's been fixed and we sailed home. We're still recovering from the effects of the tide wave, so it won't be much, but we do want to give you some kind of reward. Well, shall we be going? I see, so... Oh, nothing, never mind. I do get to stay on the boat, right? At least until it's repaired. Yes, that's where all the youth need me. With the Leo. I feel kind of bad for Chacha. What can we do about it? After all, she's the one married to a pirate. So, what should we do now? I suggest we try to find Pierce. He could prove enlightening. That's true. He seems to be a water addict. Might be able to tell us a little about these things. Think we should help him fix the boat? Say, if we help with the boat, maybe it'll give us a ride back to Madra. Good idea. What do you say, Felix? Nope! You're opposed to it? Well, since you seem to have your own ideas, let's get going. I'm just messing with you. I'll fix the boat. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was kind of a long cutscene and a little crowded too, but we did manage to defeat Briggs and we got the ship too, so that said and done, I think it's a good time to end off this episode. See you guys later.